Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. In this episode of Tech Tips, I'm going to be continuing the OneNote snippet series and just going over docked windows in OneNote. It's a feature I don't see a lot of people using, so I just really wanted to make a very quick video just to draw attention to the feature uh, in case you hadn't uh, heard about it or used it before. Uh, it's a very simple to use uh, feature, uh, but it lets you utilize your screen space very efficiently uh, while having the majority of your screen dedicated to whatever you're reading and have a very small note uh, taking spot. It's very great for if you only have a single monitor or in addition after everybody goes to bed and I'm in my office I usually like to read and have a little docked window for thoughts, um, project ideals uh, and everything along those lines and then have like Netflix or Amazon streaming in my secondary monitor. Uh, so without further delay let's get started. So as you can see, I just have a normal OneNote window open. Uh, it's from a, a page that I had made in one of the previous OneNote snippet videos. Uh, and say I want to read more into uh, a article that I was researching or something along those lines. And I just wanted to dock this uh, so I can come back to it and add stuff to it as I'm kind of like researching maybe the Oculus and the, its specs and I want to compare the two and just add some little highlighted notes in here to compare the two uh, or anything along those lines really that's just hypothetical uh, I'll click the view uh, button and then I open the full view ribbon and in the view ribbon you'll see new docked window you'll see that it automatically will add this little dock that automatically resizes your window so that it essentially makes the full screen uh, window that was previously one note actually skewed over a little automatically resize and put this nice little dock here it'll automatically resize because the content you can see that the picture resized uh, videos it doesn't do as great as the job is resizing but you can see that everything is still fully interactive so that video uh, that they had that is embedded on their website and is embedded in that article when I clipped it I, I could play it over in OneNote and I can still play it in the little snippet too so it's very powerful um, you can also resize the snippet too so that you can actually get the whole video playing in there if you want to. Granted, at that point in time, your snippet is taken, uh, or your dock is taken up almost a third of your screen, uh, but it is still very useful. Um, in addition, uh, you can see that the uh, text and everything resizes very well. The images all snap as you resize your dock. So outside of the video uh, realm of embedded video, everything resizes pretty good. Now if you click on that triple uh, dot menu, I don't know, can't remember what they exactly call that triple dot, but anyways, you can click on that and actually get a, a decent selection of editing tools. So say I wanted to uh, browse something in uh, the web browser. I have some cool little renderings from the SpaceX Dragon Capsule up, and you can see that it automatically resized my Edge browser to kind of fit in there. Uh, so it works even better like when you snap to the corner and do like a, a quarter view or a half view and then if you open something else sometimes it, it don't want it won't adhere to what you know like if you have something in the corner and then you open something it'll be like full screen uh, for instance everything you open with a dock it actually kind of automatically resizes and it does a very good job about following uh, that and being very consistent about always making sure that it scoots over and gives the dock its portion of the screen. It doesn't overlay stuff on top of the dock. In addition, it doesn't ha not just making full screen and the dock being an overlay and then having hidden content behind there that you have to get, you know, resize everything. So it's very good about resizing the other windows outside of the dock to, so that your dock is always visible and the, the dock is also not obscuring other data. So as you can see, it's a very useful tool uh, for a lot of different uses, just as a daily note-taking app. You can just uh, make it very small so it's not, you know, taking up a lot of space and just take notes throughout the day as things come up. Uh, maybe you're working on something at work and something comes up and you just want a reminder to make sure you don't forget about that because sometimes you get caught up in your work. Uh, and then there's something that's not as important that comes up that you don't want to make sure that you address uh, later in the day or possibly even uh, the following day or down the road. Uh, or if you're researching something, you can start a blank, blank note, and as you're researching, just take little quotes and do your citations, and just keep on going without actually having to open a full other window. So it lets you really take advantage of your screen real estate uh, to the 
best that you really uh, the best that you can without having to switch windows all the time and uh, everything along those lines. So thanks for watching this OneNote snippets uh, episode. I hope this video was helpful as well as interesting. And if it was, make sure you give it a big like. I greatly appreciate that feedback, and it helps the video at, in itself as well as the channel as a whole. In addition, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more great videos in the future, as well as checking all the different links in the description below to my different social media accounts and credits for the music that I used in this video. Thank you.